Have you ever heard of the USSR, United Soviet Socialist Republic? They tried socialism for 70 years and it failed. Right. And when they finally figured it out, the 15 countries went their separate ways. Richard, though, you've taught all over the world. I mean, have you seen examples of socialism working? Absolutely. The biggest and most important ones we can think about. He referred to the United Soviet Socialist Republics. That's not correct. It's called the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Oh, it's all right. It's not a big mistake. But the big one is not to understand what socialist societies have grown. We are currently, as a nation, in a big fight, an ugly fight initiated by President Trump against China, as you know. Tariff wars, one after a big company uh, today. That's a big effect. Why? Because China is the second most important economy in the world. What was the first 40, most important? Just a second. 40, 40 years ago, China was one of the poorest countries in the world. It used a very powerful socialist economic model to do one thing, to grow quickly, to stop being poor and to become wealthy. They did a lot of things along the way I don't agree okay. with and you don't. But if well, you want, let me finish. That's, that's if you want true. an example of rapid economic that's growth. True. Then that is the example of our lifetime. China took off when they assumed capitalist uh, connotations. They took off when I can't remember the name of the, of the leader who said, "Let a thousand flowers bloom," and the thousand flowers were capitalist enterprises. And that's when China Not started to bloom. <laughs> Have you been teaching Wait. kids in our schools for nonsense? <laughs> I've been, teaching, I've been teaching kids a bit longer than you've been talking on TV, but uh, roughly, you know, the same. Can, 